aboard passengers. Mega Sim here. Now, I just tried something and it didn't work, so I'll go through it in a minute. But anyway, this is the one Foxtrot 33 service from that one from Faversham to St Pancras International. This is the service we took on our last train real world service train. Now, there's one annoying thing with this uh, train. It's a 12 car service. And we were never a 12 car service, we were a six car service. But in the uh, first recording I did of this, I, uh, I disconnected. I disconnected it, so I disconnected it at the uh, at the end, and uh, <laughs> it didn't didn't want to let. Well, it let me go, but all up here was green, and it just wouldn't flick to the next one, which is you know our next stop, which is sitting ball. So we are a 12 car service, which is a bit of a lie, but never mind. Right, let's uh, make sure we've got everything set up. So we've got that there, we've got the floor heat, door closed, no, we're good with that. Uh, desk light. Don't need that desk light on. Yeah, I think, I think we're, Ready and raring to go. Let's close our doors. Uh, oh, finally, we've got the uh, objective complete. And we can now go. Is our speed limit? Oh, okay, we can go up to 60. Love it, absolutely love it. So, yeah, ignore the last 12 cars, we're not going to talk about them. Oh. That is really bad. I'm so sorry. Off. E. There we go. That's better. So, yes, we are on one Foxtrot 33, which is the real life train journey that we took from Ramsgate to London St Pancras. Uh, today, as you can see, we are calling out Faversham. Well, we started at Faversham. We're calling it Sittingbourne, Raynham, Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, Strood, Gravesend, Epsfleet, Stratford, and St Pancras. So yeah, City World is our first stop. So as you know, the service we did take was from Ramsgate. No, wrong one. We need to be realistic here. Here we go. So we learned from our real world trip that the drivers only use the low tone, not the high tone. But that's fine by me. Bling. <clears throat> Anyway, hopefully you're doing well. I have got a lovely cup of tea in front of me. As we are driving towards London St Pancras. Been a busy day today. Uh, I've been doing some demos and other things that you know usually would do. Yeah, uh, some of our videos may be in a slightly different order of how they were originally recorded. Um, a lot of videos over the next few days have been pre-recorded about a week ago. Um, but, you know, I'm just gradually getting there. Because I kind of pre-recorded a load to kind of cope with, um, you know, work and things like that. But 
then I've kind of like gone, oh, I want to add that in, oh, I want to add that in, oh, I want to add that in, and then it just turns into a, that video that I recorded two weeks ago. Oh, now it's finally coming out. <laughs> Is our ninety? So we do have this station coming up, Tina, I think it is. If it isn't, I am truly sorry. A few. <laughs> Also, um, for this trip, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and change the DC to CTRL to the, um, uh, what do you call it, to overhead. I want to be able to do that whilst moving, because I always done it stopping, but that journey back, it did it whilst we were going through Ebb's Fleet Station. He didn't want to wait until we stopped. I don't know if that's a legal... I say a legal thing to do. You probably can do it, but... Is that a... A process thing that you should have... Done it the other way? I don't know. Let's go down to 85. Why do we have to go down to 85 and then back up to 90? Not sure. I have no idea when this video is coming out either. I am surrounded by dogs. <laughs> Ted and L are laying all around me, and I just find it awkward to put my feet down. Okay, coming into Sittingbourne now. <clears throat> Are we going to stop? Oh no. The brakes. I was thinking 465 brakes, wasn't I? No, no, we're going over. We're going over. Don't look, everyone. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Okay. Come on. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Nope. You gonna tell anyone? No, I'm not going to. Okay, that's fine then. Right. Just need to keep an eye on those brakes a bit more. <clears throat> okay, almost there, and then uh, twelve o eight, we can leave. But you know. I would love to leave early. Mind the doors, please, mind the doors.
Okay, let's go. Bling. Raynum. We're on platform zero, it's just Thameslink services. Mum's not home yet. So what time do we need to get into St Pancras? 13.03, okay. It was about 13.06 that we got in. Yeah, this is a good route. I, I did like going on it in real life. It was a nice route to go on. Oh, I think I missed the whistle board. Okay, so we need to go down to 70, but we haven't hit 70 yet, so we're all right. We're not going to the left, so we don't go down to 40. We s stick to the uh, 70 here. So this is where the uh, two tracks become four tracks. We must coming up now. Yeah, let's see. Here we go. So that's where you go down there. So the station is down there, which is nice. But no, we stay in the middle in the fast lane. Oh, look, there's a 375 just coming in there. Now we can go to 75. Okay, so we do have a yellow signal coming up. Is there a reason behind that? No, it's gone green.
And uh, yeah, here we are going from 4 to 2 again. Which I always missed. Every time I was recording, I was like, here's the 4 to 2. Oh no. Talking of that, I should be slowing down. Mm. A lovely cup of tea. <clears throat> well, that's good. But Mrs. Mega Sim was coming home. She's rushing into Derby, and I'm like, oh no! But she's uh, diverted off of the A52 to a shop, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. No one's going to Faversham. Ah, so there's a 375. Um, but as we said, Class 700 Thameslink are the services that go to uh, Platform Zero. Not uh, not the 375 and the 465s. Oh, it's a double. Nice. We're running late now. And we've just bypassed our stop. Right there. Okay. Right, so uh, let's have a look. I haven't actually checked. Have we got anything fancy? Well, no, that's Ramsgate. That's not us. Oh, if only. No, this is uh, the 395013 that we're on. Um, nothing fancy, it's just the standard uh, 395 that we're on today. Never seem to get any of the... Uh, well, I did get the Medway one, that was fun. That was fun. Yep, so this is where we need to shut our doors, but we can't because... We can now. Okay, right, and we can go 90 till we get to Gillingham, which then goes down to 60 for the uh, level crossing. So yeah, 2.3 till we get to Gillingham. So yeah, we need to uh, keep to the last 60 limit. So we do have the yellow light, uh, but that's usually around uh, the uh, level crossing. Uh, so as we go in here, Ah, we're going to have a four-car train ahead of us. That's why we've got our double yellow. Okay. Yep, so we do have a double yellow, so we are going to be trailing behind uh, this lovely train. Right here.
What we got? We got a 375. Nice. And we've got a yellow as well. Okay, so the red is in the station. I repeat, the red is in the station. So here is our level crossing. Aeop Mega Sim from last year. There you are. Okay, coming into Gillingham Station. Oh yeah, they didn't have the uh, the, the clock like we saw on the uh, when we were last here. Okay, we do have a yellow, which is good now. Okay, we are slightly late. That's fine, we've got a double yellow. That's nice for them to give that to us. 500 points, that's what we like to see. Love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah, we are on the Gillingham Medway. Uh, the reason why I keep forgetting, we do have a mod um, switched on for Southeastern High Speed, hence the Medway, LOL, you know, certain other... Oh, look, we've got a safety, safety sign there. Uh, you know, Metro, Newspaper. Yeah, we do have one. And look, look Spectra. Yeah. <clears throat> right, it's time to close the doors any second now. Uh, EK for East Kent, if you weren't aware of that. Okay, let's go there. Oh my goodness, you stupid passengers. There we go. Does look good though, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, so here's a double yellow. So let's uh, flick that off. So coming into Chatham, home to Dovetail Games. But that's the thing around here, Chatham, Rochester, Gillingham, they're all so close to each other that it's actually uh, quicker to get to Chatham Docks from Gillingham than it is from Chatham. Okay, coming up to a red signal. As you can see here, because our train is still in the station. I think he is. He is. Oh, great. Stuck behind him now. I wasn't even late. That's what I'm annoyed by. Okay. There he goes. So as soon as he goes past there... As soon as you go past that, we will then have a yellow signal to get into the station. Right down to 30.
Okay. Coming into... Oh, that's the 4 and 8. Chatham, as we said. Home to Dovetail Games. So, with... Uh, Dovetail. Dovetail are over near the coast. So over there somewhere. Don't know if you can see. <laughs> Don't know if you can see him, but do you know what's really annoying? Was somebody mentioned, oh, you should go and see it on this room. And then it finally hit me. It finally cottoned on that. Back in July, when I went down to Greenwich and did all those train things, I was staying in a hotel so close to Dovetail Games, but my mind did not click to kind of go, go and visit the office, go outside. I never thought of it. I never thought of it, and it's so annoying. I was so close. So yeah, no idea, no idea what went through my head because I didn't. I was like, yeah, dovetail Chatham, dovetail Chatham. Didn't actually when I was down there go. I could walk and see their office. No, never could. Went never went through my mind. Went on the javelin, did all of that. Never actually thought dovetail. <laughs> I say the next time I was there last week, but I went through the stations. Oh. So maybe uh, when I'm next down, we'll go and visit. Okay, so we're going through old Rochester station now. Aha, three, seven, five. Sorry, Tab. Ah, oh, there we go. Got a yellow now, so we'll have a red at the station. Let me just have a look. Yeah. I want to know where he goes. He's probably going straight on. If he goes right next to where I am, I won't be happy. Oh, yeah. And I totally forgot that was Old Rochester. <laughs> I was doing all of this and then I started going down here all the time. Yeah, we're at Old Rochester. Where is he going? Still not got there, has he? Come on, don't go right, don't go right, don't go right, don't go right. Yes, he's going straight on. Okay, start slowing down. Okay, we got here quite quickly. That's good, that's good. So we got a green light now. We are free to go. Oh. You and Heat. L is sitting so close to the radiator. So close. Because she loves to get hot. Because we've got a gas fire that we're actually using in this house. And she loves sitting near it so she can heat herself up to... Uh, Really high temperature. Oh, you're so warm. You're, you're like a hot water bottle. Well, right, let's do it. We've got a few minutes. Uh, let's go. Oh, lovely. 465. So, uh, if only we could go that way. So, if you go down there. So, you see the river going that way. And then it goes that way. I think that's what it's supposed to be. yeah it's there down there one of these buildings around there is where dovetail games is based around there just wanna get closer yeah around there where is that train gone 
Oh wow, okay, it's there. Fine, right. <clears throat> Let's go. So we do have to go down to 20 miles an hour, as you know, as we go around the corner. Bloody, 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 blah. Nope. Let's get that mouse off so we can control this properly. Anyway, this is a good route. It is a good route. So if you are trying this route at the same time as me, let me know. Did you have that full car stuck up ahead of you? Or was that just a one-off for me? I'm on January lightly cloudy. Okay, slowing down for Strudy. There's the uh, infamous submarine that is slowly sinking. As we start going down here, we need to uh, go down to 15. Won't be too bad. Um, yep, yeah, let's start slowing down for that. Oh, I just thought I got a couple of chocolate eclairs in the fridge. Got from Waitrose yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to them. Do we hide them from the missus or do I share and have one each? such a difficult decision to make <laughs> oh need to slow down slow down Megs Slow down. That's unfair. I went so close and it said, no, 499, you didn't get a full 500. So yeah, this is the 8 to 12 car stop, not the six, but I still think it pushes us down here even if we are on a six car. Okay, this is where we can now close our doors again. Mind the doors, please, mind the doors. So yeah, this is where the 70 exists, but um, because of the length of the train, we have to wait for the back end to go through the uh, 70 before we can go up to our correct speed. So we have to crawl through this tunnel. So it's not like the Bakerloo line where, you know, it's the front of the train that goes up. So Gravesend, next stop before we then go to Ebbsfleet and see if we can uh, change the power supply whilst we're still moving. Because, hey, who wouldn't want to do that? And we've just gone through. And then we can have some 
good acceleration on this train instead of this third rail version. So we got who, who, who. So we got some uh, 66s there and some freight cars, which looks quite good. And then, yeah, as we said, we've got Gravesend. And don't forget, we've got the out and in again. So the tunnel, there are two tunnels where you go out and in. It feels longer in real life, the outside bit, to the game. In the game it just feels like you go out in, but in real life it's out, then you go in. Uh. Uh, out, in, but I feel like it takes longer on the uh, real life version. The real life version. Real life, yeah. That's the one. Uh, yeah, so Gravesend. Hi, Dad. How are you doing? Here we go. So, who junction who? So we've got our uh, freight trains, and then we got our 66s. There we go. Got two 66s there. And we've got a 66 here. So we'll have to go down to 50 in a bit.
What's the Nescafe doing here? <laughs> Okay, coming up to uh, Gravesend, so we are down to our 50 mile an hour limit. Yeah, I have no idea, what did I, what was I on? 395022 it says there. What did I go on? Not sure. Hmm. Here's O two O. I'm just looking at my pictures. Ah, oh, I was on double O seven. Funny, eh? Double O seven of all. Uh, all numbers. Uh, what was I on that one? 019. So I was 019 and 007. So what are we on here? So we're on 022. And what are we on on the back? 013. Okay, so we're not on the ones that uh, we were able to go on uh, the other week. One of my favourite parts of the route is this uh i say this bit we've just finished it it just looks so nice yes the final third rail stop that we have on the main line before we go on to uh hs hs1 i don't know why i was going to say hs2 because we all know that that hasn't come about yet high speed one ctrl channel tunnel rail link Okay, let's open those doors. A up. Out they all come. Danger. Overhead live wires. Now I've got to get this right. When we get to Ebb's Fleet, I am going to do this. I am going to flick it to CTRL and put the pan up for this to go double yellow and then yellow with the non coloured yellow. We're going to do it. And if it all goes wrong. I blame the driver that I was in. You know, the driver who did it in real life. I'm gonna blame him. Okay. We're okay. There we go. Oh, we were we able to accelerate there? That it weren't good. Right, Ebb's Fleet, 12.45, 1.9 miles. 375 with no destination. Okay, as you do. does feel a lot quicker in real life not that this is taking a while but when you're actually on the train oh my goodness it just goes so quickly the time there we go okay so we did have a yellow but that's called green <coughs> as um the points have probably changed. Uh, where is it? It's not there. It's here.
think of all those bikes and trampolines and bags and all that, that I was seeing down here. Weird. Oh yeah. Is there a train here? No, there's a train there. Okay, so we are veering to the left. As I said, in real life, it doesn't feel as do jolty. So let's see how it feels now. Now that I know what it should feel like. Oh, yeah, it just feels really jolty there. Right, okay, so we are there. Let's go for that. Let's go press and hold. There, pan up. not allowing us to do it why is it not allowing us to do it there we go did it too early he did it in the station I panicked I panicked <laughs> yeah I panicked there should have done it in the station so here was where he did it and you could hear the air con go off well you'll, you'll be able to watch it hear the air con go off and then back on again whilst we're still moving running really late now okay So yeah, can that, it's already telling us to do it, but we've done it. Oh yeah, look at that, 1.30 already. Okay. What well, we got down here? So this is where the Eurostar would go, so I've been on there before, which is nice. Just waiting for our train to be able to do, you know, where we're able to depart. Look at that, we were left the whole way and now we're on the right, opening the doors on the right. Okay. Okay, let's listen to the acceleration on this and watch the acceleration as well. So as you can see, we're now on kilometers. we go <clears throat> so here's the 130 that we've got and then when we get into the tunnel we get to go up There we go. And then you feel the acceleration. So when you're here, you feel the acceleration. Look at that. Anyway, shouldn't be doing that. There we go. Okay, back in the seat. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, we get 225 miles an hour, which is 140, uh, 225 kilometers an hour, which is 100, 140 miles an hour. Which is something the 225, the class 91s can do, but they don't because the infrastructure is not there for them. 
So they only go one, two, five tops. Right, here is the QE Bridge. Look at that. That's a good shot there, if I do say so myself. And there. Look at that. Anyway, right. Let's go up to 225. As we've said um, in previous videos, remember the Eurostar is very limited at the moment. But when it is, it does delay the uh, Javelin because the Javelin can't go 180. Uh, the Eurostar does take precedence and sometimes the Javelin does get delayed if it's stuck because uh, the Eurostar doesn't want to be stuck behind a Javelin, so it's timed. But if the Eurostar's late, then the Javelin's late, I believe, to ensure that the Eurostar boom, bombs it over to uh, to Paris or to Europe, because it'd be Amsterdam as well, won't it? And Lille and all of them. But yeah, just the speed. Look at that. Absolutely love it. So yeah, we've got Stratford International, which shouldn't be called International because it's not International because no international train stops at Stratford International. <laughs> and then we've got St. Pancras International, which can be called International because it goes International. Speeding. There we go. Way. Nice. Love it. Oh, I forgot to say. Hey, up, Johnny. <laughs> right. So soon to go back into the tunnel. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go to Stratford. And there we go, into the tunnels again. Look at that, six and a half mile. Six and a half miles of tunnels before we get to Stratford. Interesting, eh? Do we have to get into uh, London's Pancras? Oh, we've got 10 minutes. Dying for the loo. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely dying for the loo. But can't take my eyes off this. So we've got 10 minutes ish. So when this starts flashing, it means we now need, you know, we need to go down. I think it's 170, isn't it?
There we go. Start slowing down. Going slightly uphill now. 200, 170. Sixty, sorry, not one seventy. Okay, 1.3 miles till we get to Stratford. Gonna do a bit of shopping. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? I feel like the brakes are better when we're on overhead as well. Are they the same brakes or are they different brakes? Let me know in the comments. Do you know? Are they the same brakes or are they different brakes? Okay, so here we are. Coming out the tunnel now. We've got any trains here? No. Running late, as usual. Over we go. This station does feel weird. It just feels like just a concrete hole. As you low down, and yeah, you're just surrounded by concrete. It's yeah, it's just one of those places where you're like, I don't really want to be in this station. It's not nice. But what can you do? It serves its purpose. It's for Stratford, for the Olympic Park. You know, where the Olympics were held, the London 2012 Olympics, and you got Westfield. What more do you want? I don't think there is any uh, Olympic uh, stuff going on here, no. So that's Westfield there. But yeah. That is one good photo. I don't know, I just like this zooming in feature at the moment. It just looks really nice. Uh, so, let's close those doors. And we can move. We can move without the door shut. Next stop, London Sabacras International. Here we go. So we're in the tunnel, 100, mile, 100 kilometers an hour. And that's now lot to 225, but we are only five miles away from Sabacras. Not far at all, eh?
Here we go, we need to start slowing down again. Start slowing down. Knew it had to be the Android, wasn't it? Uh, of course. Typical. Oh, moving my mouse now. So. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we are below um, the speed because we don't want to get our emergency brake kicking in. go. Let's go down to 60. Okay, so we are going to platform number 13. Which is nice to see. Was that the platform I went to? Possibly. Okay, here's the Pacus International. Hopefully you enjoyed this everyone. No, I don't think I was on platform 13, no. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, everyone. Did, if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Let's me know that you care. Subscribe for more videos. Don't forget we do uh, have our videos on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, so watch them on either. Social media channels, Twitter, Instagram, Discord. We do have a Discord server if you want to take a look at that as well. Yeah, we will see you on the next video. And I'm not going to say this is Megazim out of here because we're not ready yet. We need to we need to shut down the need to shut down the uh, train. Shut it down. Shut it down. Here we go. Okay. Okay. DRA. Tail. 
neutral go in neutral first uh as you can see that's the 1314 to Margit. um and this one will be the 3027 to ramsgate nice now i think we were here that was the uh oh what, what train is this the 015 and this is 008 now, I don't think we've got any other trains heading into uh, St Pancras now. Uh, what have we got? We've got the 1427 to Faversham, so yeah, that's not possible. This is a 12 coach, that's a 12 coach. Remember, this is a mod, so that's why we do get this. The mod is only available on PC, not, uh, not console. And that one is a 6 coach. But yeah, I think we're done here. Uh, do you want to see the points? Nah, I think that should be all right. Anyway, have a great day, everyone. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>